to my review of the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro from the eyes of a Lightroom and video editor. So if you're looking for a good laptop to edit photos on in Lightroom and Photoshop plus some video editing, this is the video for you. A few weeks ago I bought a new laptop to mainly edit photos on. On my spare time, I'm a wedding photographer and I was looking for a laptop that I could use while sitting on my couch in front of the TV, culling photos in Adobe Lightroom and do some video editing for YouTube. And I found, ta-da, the Samsung Galaxy Book 3 Pro 16-inch. I've been using a Dell XPS desktop that I bought back in 2018, I think, to edit my photos. But it has its limitations since it's, well, five years old. And it's a desktop, not a laptop. And since I'm a Samsung fanboy, I wanted one of the new Samsung laptops released in 2023. As you might already know if you've seen some of my previous videos, I already have a Galaxy Book Pro from 2021, the first version. It's a 13-inch laptop with 16GB of memory and 512GB of storage, but the CPU could be better. And Intel has done some upgrades of their CPUs from Generation 11 to Generation 13 which you can find in the late Samsung laptops. First, I wanted of course the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra 16 inch cause, well, it's the best one. But then I saw the price here in Sweden. It's expensive. Really expensive. So, new plan. Long story short, I bought the regular Galaxy Book 3 Pro 16 inch instead, with 16 GB of memory and 1 TB of storage, for half the price of the Ultra model. A bit of a gamble, but as it turned out, the Ultra model would have been way overkill for me. At least that's what I tried to tell myself. I normally use three different cameras on a wedding shoot. An old Canon EOS 5D Mark III, one a bit newer Canon EOS R6, plus a Canon EOS R. When I come home after a few hours of work, I usually have somewhere between one and two thousand photos to go through. The Galaxy Book 3 Pro 16 inch doesn't break a sweat at all when I call photos in Adobe Lightroom. It's a pleasure to work now. I can get the photo editing part done much quicker than before. For some reason, it's kind of fun to call and edit photos now. Be maybe because I can do it in front of my beloved TV. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I've also done some video editing on this laptop. I use CapCut as a video editor and it's the same feeling as when working in Lightroom. It just works. No stutter or anything when working with, for instance, 5K footage. Not that I do any advanced editing with lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of layers and color grading, but I do use a few video layers and some uh, text and graphics layers for my videos. And well, it just works. I've tried DaVinci Resolve as well, and it works without any major hiccups. But for me, CapCut works better with the way I do my edits. One thing that I, for the moment, have a bit hard time to adapt to is the keyboard. Not the keyboard itself, it's great. No, it's the placement of the keyboard since there's a numpad on the right side, so everything is shifted to the left. But that's really the only thing I don't, for the moment, like about this laptop. The massive touchpad, though, is lovely to use. 
But I never had any problems with the touchpads on Windows laptops before. So, if you are looking for a fairly non-expensive laptop that can do photo editing as well as video editing, and can handle it that the keyboard is shifted to the left, and it has a massive touchpad, take a look at the Galaxy Book 3 Pro series. You won't regret it. Until next time, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a lovely day. Bye!